Hello again. Today we are going to practice listening to three sounds and working out what word those three sounds make. And we're also going to practice taking a word and splitting it up into its three sounds. So to start with, we're going to fill the box with things. The first thing that's going into the box is a d o l. Can you work out what it is? A d o doll. So that's going in the box. See if you can work out the next thing. The next thing going in the box is a f a n. What do you think it is? It's a f a n fan. Let's fold that up and put that in. Next thing going in the box is a s o. Do you think it is? It's a sock. Sock. Let's fold that up and put it in the box. Pop the lid back on there. Next thing going in the box is a k o d. What do you think it is? A k o d card. Let's put that in the box. Next thing going in the box is a b o x. What do you think it is? It's a b o x box. So a little box inside the big box. Here's the next thing in the box. I'm going to put a f o x. What do you think it is? A fork. Fork. Let's put that in the box. Next thing is some soap. What do you think it is? Soap. Soap. Next thing is a shark. What do you think it is? A shark, shark, and the last thing to go in the box is some t ape. What do you think it is? T ape, tape. So all those things are going in the box now. I have got a squirrel puppet. This is Mr. Squirrel. And we're going to ask Mr Squirrel if he'd like some of the things in our box. If he'd like the thing, he's going to nod. If he doesn't want the thing in the box, he's going to shake. So, I'm going to sing a little song. So you can join in with the little song as well. Now, the thing about Mr Squirrel is Mr Squirrel does not understand the words that we use. He only understands sounds. So if you want to offer something in the box to Mr Squirrel, you will need to tell him the sounds in that word. So we'll, we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll do it together. So let's see if we can sing. Excuse me, Mr Squirrel, do you want what's in my box? So what we're going to do is we're going to ask him if he'd like this but he doesn't understand the word card so we need to break that word card down into sounds tell me the three sounds you can hear in card k a d so mr squirrel do you want the card oh that's a yes i wonder why he wants a card why do you think Perhaps it's his friend's birthday and he wants a card for them. I don't know. So let's give the card to Mr. Squirrel. We'll put that over there. Let's ask him if he wants the next thing. See if you can sing with me. Excuse me, Mr. Squirrel, do you want what's in my box? So we're going to ask him if he wants the fan, but he doesn't understand fan. Tell him the sounds in fan. Ah. Hmm. So, Mr. Squirrel, would you like the fan? Oh, he's saying yes. I wonder what he's going to do with a fan. What do you think? 
well, it is a very hot day today and he's covered in fur, so maybe he will use the fan to keep him cool. Let's give the fan to Mr. Squirrel. Let's do the next thing. All right, let's sing to Mr. Squirrel. Excuse me, Mr. Squirrel, do you want what's in my box? Now, he doesn't understand shark. You're going to have to tell him the sounds. Shh, ark. Do you want the sh ark? Ooh, that's a no. I wonder why he doesn't want the shark. What do you think? Hmm. Maybe it's because he doesn't like sharks. Perhaps he's scared of them. So let's take the shark away. Let's get the next thing out of the box. Let's get the doll out. Let's sing. Excuse me, Mr. Squirrel, do you want what's in my box? He doesn't understand doll, so let's tell him the sounds in doll. D, O, U. Let's see if he wants the doll. Oh, that's a yes. I wonder why Mr. Squirrel wants the doll. What do you think? Maybe he wants something to play with. Let's give him the doll. That can go on his pile of things. Let's choose the next thing from the box. Let's sing to him. Excuse me, Mr. Squirrel, do you want what's in my box? So he doesn't understand sock. Let's tell him the sounds in sock. S-O-K. Let's see if he wants the sock. Oh, that's a yes. I wonder why he wants the sock. Hmm, what do you think? Well, he's actually got this really large tail. Look at that amazing tail. So maybe, maybe he wants the sock to keep his tail warm in the winter. Let's see what else is in the box. There's a fork. Let's sing. Excuse me, Mr. Squirrel, do you want what's in my box? Can you tell him the sounds in fork? F or k. Let's see if Mr. Squirrel wants the fork. Ooh, that's a no. I wonder why he doesn't want the fork. What do you think? I think maybe squirrels don't need forks because he's got his... Um, little paws that he can use when he wants to eat something. He doesn't need a fork. Let's take that away. Let's get the next thing out. This is a box. Let's sing to him. Excuse me, Mr. Squirrel, do you want what's in my box? Can you tell him the sounds in box? B -o -x. Let's see if Mr. Squirrel wants the box. Oh, that's a yes. I wonder why he wants the box. What do you think? Maybe he wants to keep his nuts in there for the winter. Let's give him the box. Is there anything left in here? Oh, two things left in here. That's the soap. Let's sing. Excuse me, Mr. Squirrel, do you want what's in my box? Can you tell him the sounds in soap? Oh. Let's see if Mr. Squirrel wants the soap. Well, oh, that's a no. I wonder why he doesn't want the soap. What do you think? I think squirrels probably don't need soap because they can wash themselves. Let's put the soap away. And I think there's one thing left in the box. It's the tape. Let's sing to Mr. Squirrel. Excuse me, Mr. Squirrel, do you want what's in my box? Can you tell him the sounds in tape? T A P. Let's see if he wants the tape. Oh, that's a no. I think it would be a bit tricky for a squirrel to use the tape, wouldn't it? Well done. So you have practiced putting three sounds together to make some words. And then you had a go at breaking words down into their three sounds so that Mr. Squirrel could understand you. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that.